guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia and you're watching Domestic Diva. If this is your first time stopping by, I'm so glad you decided to join me. I have pizza hair in my mouth. And um, today I am starting my spring cleaning series, uh, which I will be posting uh, spring cleaning for next a month or so every almost every Monday here and there there'll be a different type of cleaning but most of the time it will be spring cleaning and I will do be doing room by room um, I will also have a blog post two blog posts linked down below one will have detailed um, what I do for every room and then the other one will have uh, just like a checklist that you can print for free and it will be more of a general checklist like you know clean out all the bathroom and kitchen cupboards whereas the other blog post will have more details in it but I don't have a free printable for the other blog post just the one that's general so make sure you check them out and I hope that you like this video and if you do please give me a thumbs up uh, and uh, like I said if this is your first time stopping by you also I want to welcome you and I hope you decide to press the subscribe button and stick around and make sure that you all have your bell notification on so that way when I do post these videos you will be notified. So for this time around I am starting with the living room, my formal living room. Uh, years before I have started in my fo front foyer but we have gotten like almost 40 centimeters of snow in the last week. So I didn't want to get into cleaning that quite yet until that snow melts and the salt is gone and all that stuff. So um, I'm starting with the living room and then I'm going to move on and work on a different area every week. And I want to share every single detail of that cleaning with you. So let's get started. So I start with uh, from the top and then I work my way down. But the first thing that I'm doing is um, removing these uh, curtains because I want to give them a wash. I typically wash my curtains about three times a year. It's just with all the cooking. I It's like a smell trap and I always find that you can smell what I've cooked. So I like to give them a wash. I use the scent boosters from... Um, I think downy um, just to add extra scent into them and uh, then they smell nice and fresh and make the whole room smell really good next I move on to dusting my crown molding I use my Norwax duster and I just spray it with some water that I had added some essential oils in it my favorite one for cleaning is lemon but any citrus scent I will take I also like to clean out my light fixtures I remove this um, little thing and end up washing it with just some hot water and dish soap and then I come back and dust the uh, remaining light that's hanging and I just do that with a some um, glass cleaner from a method and a microfiber cloth When it comes to window washing, I like to wash my windows several times a year, especially on the inside. I typically wash them on the outside twice a year at spring and fall. Um, I haven't done the inside of the windows since my fall cleaning. And um, so I, we tend to have some of that surface mold grow in the corners of the windows just from all the condensation from being so cold outside and then the heat from the inside. Uh, for the condensation, I like to use a mold and mildew remover from Norwax. Um, I like this product because it doesn't s smell strong and uh, some of the other mold, mold and mildew removers make me um, kind of, they smell really bad, but this one I don't smell. So, and it's all natural and it works really well. So it's, 
it's great and then I use uh, an old toothbrush to get into the crevices of it but I let it sit for a little bit first I also wipe down my screens uh, just with a method of glass cleaner sometimes I will take them out and uh, hose them down as well I'm not cleaning my windows on the outside at this time because like I said there's still a ton of snow so probably once I'm doing the outside cleaning of the windows I will take these off again and just give them uh, hose them down with and also use some down uh, dish soap and just uh, give them a proper wash but for now I'm just cleaning the little mold off and uh, cleaning the windows Next, uh, when I'm done with my windows, I move on to cleaning uh, behind and under my sofa and the sofa itself. I used to have to do this way more often when my golden was alive, but um, because all the hair would accumulate underneath the sofa. But uh, I haven't done this since uh, my fall cleaning, and as you can see, it's not all that bad. I use my uh, 
Dyson cordless to vacuum up all the dust off especially this pen tends to collect all the dust and then I also dust my baseboards with this and then I uh, use the other attachments to also vacuum out the back of the sofa which is the spinning attachment it's uh, like an upholstery attachment that I switch it out and use I also uh, end up vacuuming the floor as well before I wash the baseboards and the floor itself and for the baseboards and the floor I use uh, just some hot water vinegar and my lemon essential oil and the mop that I'm using which you will see in a minute is just a Norwex mop and with the microfiber cloth and I just use hot water to wet it and that's it I also like to wash my walls which I forgot to mention just in the areas where um, there tend to be either higher traffic or in this case uh, some of the couch rubs the wall a little bit so there's like a little stain so I like to wipe to give that wipe down and sometimes there's even like little cobwebs on the wall and I like to take those down. couch um, I also like to vacuum it up uh, itself I love the vacuum lines on the on the sofa I don't do this as often as I do my live my family room because this is not a heavy traffic area and there are weeks where we don't even sit here so it's not it doesn't get messy as as badly as the family room does family room I could do this every day If you watch my channel you know that I like to change out my pillows often and if I can wash the pillowcases I will if not I will give them um, a, a beating to dust them off um, I feel like I need one of those old-fashioned beaters and hang the, the uh, pillows outside and just give them a good smacking but um, obviously I can do that with a like a meter of snow outside but um, uh, in when, once the weather gets a little nicer I will take them out and put them on the blankets outside just to air them out the ones that I can wash 
now it's time to wash the rest of the baseboards and the walls now this um, fireplace is an electric one so I like to take everything off of the fireplace move it so uh, and then clean all my baseboards and the wall and the back of the fireplace uh, that way to this corner I vacuum my furniture here as well uh, the same way as I did the couch and then I move on to the baseboards and the wall This ledge over here is my basket with almost like all the dump dumping ground for a lot of stuff um, so it does get a little dirty I do clean this more often than just uh, once a year 
as well as these pillars which were in style when we built the house I'm not sure that they are anymore but um, not much I can do with them at this time but uh, they, I do give, have to give these a wash quite often because um, I have a home daycare and there are fingerprints all over them Then to finish off my cleaning, I give uh, my big giant mirror that is brand new a good wipe down with my method window cleaner and then I also dust all the furniture and the decor and then I put it back together and I finish it off with um, a va uh, vacuum and a floor wash. For dusting the furniture, I typically use method wood polish, but this time I'm using Pledge. I didn't realize I was showing a French side, so here is English, and it has argon oil in it, and it smells really, really good. Um, I can't always find the wood polish in my grocery store. I have to go to a different store, but I didn't have time to pick it up when I was when I needed it, so I ended up just uh, picking up this Pledge, which is my um, uh, best backup. all done I love how fresh it feels when it's all dusted and cleaned up and put back together uh, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it gave you some inspiration to get your cleaning done or your spring cleaning started and I hope you maybe even cleaned along while watching my video 
and if this is your first time stopping by i would love for you to press that subscribe button stick around um, make sure your notification bell is on so you don't miss out any of my new posts so until next time hope you guys have a great day and thank you so much for watching